be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Coming back to back with dope videos just like this one. Now, today's video, I want to share with you my process for uploading my beats to BeatStar. So we're going to go start to finish from Logic Pro 10 to BeatStar is what I do. OK, so. For instance, we have this beat right here. It's finished. It's ready to go. Mixed. Everything like that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce down a tagged version of the beat. Now, I have a tag right here. Um, I, this is my initial tag for my beat. It's at the beginning. And then I have another tag that I put at least three to five times. OK, I don't over tag my beats, but I do have it in there just in case someone wants to grab it without getting a lease or whatever. People will know, hey. That's from Ukiah. So anyway, what you want to do is push command B, command B on your computer, and it's going to pull this option up. And the first thing I start with is an MP3. So I select the MP3 um, under quality, use best encoding, um, stereo mode, normal, and that bit rate 320. Normalize, make sure that's off. And then I just go ahead and push OK. And what I do is I'll go to my desktop and um, I'm going to create a new folder and whatever that that uh, that beat name is, I'll put the, the name of the beat and then the BPM, whatever it is, you know, and that's going to be my folder. That I'm going to have my beats in. Then I'm going to go ahead and rename this and say whatever the beat is, the beat name, and then I'll just put tagged. OK, that's going to be my tagged MP3. So I'm going to go ahead and bounce that down and that's going to pretty much um, create an MP3 file that's tagged that I can upload. From here, I go ahead and mute out that second tag and then I repeat the process. Can push command B and I'm just going to do a basic MP3, all the same settings. And instead of doing tagged right here, what I do now is just to differentiate between the tag and the regular MP3. I do one. Uh, I just put the BPM after that. Go ahead and bounce that down. All right. Now, after I get that MP3, uh, both MP3s, the tagged and then the uh, untagged MP3. OK, um, next thing I do is I push com uh, command shift in the letter E as in Edward. OK, and what that's going to do is be able to create my track stems. So what I do is I um, create a brand new folder for that and I say whatever the beat name is and I just say stems. Then you have this op these different options. Now, I always make sure that um, the bit depth is 24. I go ahead and include the volume and pan automation. I don't bypass the effects and I don't include audio tails usually. I also make sure that my normalize is off. And then right here, um, if you have custom, you can just drag this element right here to there and you can put track name. So you want to have custom track name. If I put anything in here and put like a little dash or whatever I want, it's basically going to break down my track stems where it says the beat name and then the name of uh, the individual tracks. And so that's what I want. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead. I got my folder here, export, and all of these files, all these tracks are all going to be in one folder. OK, so I'm going to let that finish doing its thing. After that does what it does, I come down here to the stereo out and I just turn this down some to like negative uh, 4.6. This is a tip that I got from a mixing engineer. I believe his name is Mousequake. Uh, earthquake, mouse quick, one of them. My bad, y'all. Um, anyway, turning it down to that negative 4.6 is going to give a little headphone head room in the mix. And this is what I'm going to use for my wave. And so I'll swap it from the MP3 to the PCM, which is going to give me option for a wave AIFF or CAF. And I'm going to do wave. I do 24 bit and I do 48 right here for the sample rate. And then I just go ahead and bounce that down, put the uh, BPM. And now I have 
all the files that I need to upload them to BeatStars. Okay, got all the files I need. So from here, what I do is I go over here to my Finder, and then I go to my desktop where my beat is, and I just click on the beat as so. Um, things that I want to make sure that I have going. I always check my stems folder and make sure that everything looks right in here. As you can see, I have the name of the beat and then each of the different, you know what I'm saying, tracks. You can click on it just to make sure it works. As you can see, everything's good. Um, and then from here, I just go ahead and click on it and then uh, right click till I can get to compress and I compress that folder with the stems in it. Okay. And from here, um, I go ahead and head over to BeatStars. So we're going to go ahead and go to BeatStars. This is my BeatStars account. And basically what you want to do is if you're not already over here, you go to, you'll just hover over my media and then go to tracks where it says your content tracks. And it's going to get you to this window right here. And then this is where all the magic is going to happen. Basically, I'm going to go over here to the top right and see where this uh, plus sign is. Push plus. And this is where I can be able to enter in my track metadata. So I'm going to name, you know, put the name of the track here. And then I can put either artist or I can put the descriptive words of the beat. I'm just going to say trap. Rap. And I'm going to say beat. You can do any descriptive words that you want, but I just keep do those to keep it simple. Here, you know, you have your prices. Like right now, I just do a basic license or the exclusive license. You know, I've done different licenses over time, but this is where all your licenses will um, show up. And then I have um, a free download option here. Yes, they can download it with um, the tagged version. It's the tagged MP3 version I put capture email only and then here um, I can just add some more information about the beat so I'll go hip-hop if I want to I can come over here and play say a sub genre so like trap um, this is actually kind of a, a, a dark beat so I'll put dark maybe here and it is also like a bouncy beat so I'll put that there put the BPM which is 135 and I just put a quick little statement here, like if you have questions, hit me up. And I just do that just to let people know that I'm approachable, I guess. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's super helpful or not, but you can put stuff in this uh, description right here. If you have a collaborator, so say if you collab on the beat with somebody, you can click that and put their username or email and it will automatically give them splits. OK. All right. Cool. So we have the metadata um, uploaded. Now it's time to upload our beats um, for right here. It's going to be the untagged wave or MP3. And so what I'll do is click on my device, go to choose files and I'm going to go to my beat. And what I want to upload is this wave file. Remember, the wave file is going to be the one that has a little headroom and everything. I'm going to click that. And that's going to be what people are going to purchase when it comes to the wave or the MP3. Now, I also want to upload my track stem, so I'll go there, click on Upload, and My Device, select More, and we'll go to the stems, click that, that zipped folder. Let it upload there, and then you want to also do your tag to beat. Um, so select More, and you can just say Wick Tagged, and then that's where you know for sure you have your tag to be here, track stems, and your wave or mp3 here um, keep in mind if you're brand new you haven't signed up for beat stars or whatever i do have a promo code that you can use um, it's b m b 30 it stands for beat making basics 30 um, the 30 is for 30 days off basically i'm going to give you a free month or me and beat stars we're going to be giving you a free month of beat stars so just try out the platform it's a great way to sell your beats um, but you can use that code. That code will be also in the description. So just click on the description and you can sign up for B stars. Just make sure you put that code in or you'll have to pay for that first month of your subscription. But anyway, once we have our audio files, 
or tracks DMs and stuff like that. We're just going to go ahead and go to publish. Now you could, if you wanted to upload a new image, um, I have images that I've uploaded before on here. I decided that I to not upload any images for right now. Um, just have my logo so you can do that or put your logo or whatever and so we're going to just go ahead and push pub publish and then what it's going to do is convert the wave to mp3 um, and do all of that and so what I do is I just let it go ahead and do its thing once it's done I just go up and, and push uh, refresh on the page and then I should be able to play my beat here all right so y'all that's how you upload your beats to beat stars again if you want to get uh started with beat stars all you have to do is go to their website but make sure that you use my promo code at checkout what that's going to do is give you a 100 percent free month okay so instead of having to pay a dime or anything to get started with b stars use my promo code bmb30 and you'll get a free month of b stars make sure you do that and um can't wait to start hearing you know what i'm saying your beats and you know see what happens man i got a bunch of beats that i'm uploading here and I'm going to continue, man, until this gets to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of beats. I really feel like this is a dope platform. I tried all other platforms. Um, it's a lot of good alternatives and stuff like that. But honestly, for, for, for selling beats, this has everything you need. You can like upload your beats, like I said, the track stems, um, different things like that. And they have other options, too. You can upload songs. You can, you know, do beats with hooks on them. A lot of dope stuff. But. This is the basis of how the basics of how to upload um, your beats to beat stars. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.